we are continuing our strong acid, strong base pH calculations. We are at point one in our titration, the first point, which is before we add any base to solution. So effectively, our reaction has not started yet. We are titrating 25 milliliters of 0 0.10 molar HCl to solution. That's what we have in solution. Again, we're not adding any NaOH yet. And so our calculation is simply to find the pH of a strong acid solution. We don't even need to know the volume of it for this question. Remember that the pH is calculated as the negative log of the concentration of hydronium. Very important to remember concentration. Also remember that for all of our strong acids, they dissociate in a one-to-one -one ratio. So the concentration of HCl is the concentration of hydronium. For this question, we are just calculating the pH as the negative log of 0 0.10 molar HCl. When you plug this into your calculator, it will spit out a value of 1. This is where we have to remember our sig fig rules. Two sig figs in concentration indicates that we will have two decimal places in our pH value. So again, two sig figs here in concentration tells us two decimal places in pH. I'm sorry for the screen jumping. I'm not sure why it's doing that. So this is our final answer for our first point in this titration. For the second point in our titration, we want to know the pH when we add 10 milliliters of 0 0.10 molar NaOH, when we add that to our original solution of HCl. This is the one I recommended setting up your change table for. I've preset this up to save time, so your change table should look like this. Key things to recognize here. Remember that we're calculating moles or millimoles in this table. We do that by multiplying the concentration times the volume in milliliters of each solution. So there's our HCl amount, our NaOH amount, and then realize that that means that we have zero for our products initially. We can't form the products until the reaction has happened. So in a titration, the products will always start at zero. Second thing to remember is that in a change table, we can determine the limiting reactant by the smaller amount. Since we only have one millimole of NaOH, that means that, we, that that is our limiting reactant. That limiting reactant will go to zero, and so that means that we can identify the amount of change for each substance. The reactants will decrease by one mole. The products will increase by one mole. Another key thing to recognize here is that both of our products are neutral, which means that they will not impact or affect the pH of our solution. So although we can calculate how much is formed, they don't affect our pH. And that is true for all products for a strong acid, strong base titration. So again, we can calculate it, but they won't affect our pH. Realize that that means our pH is determined solely by how much HCl is left in solution. This region in a titration curve is dictated by the excess acid. So our calculation is still to find the concentration of hydronium. And that means that we need to determine the concentration of HCl so that that will tell us the concentration of hydronium. Quick reminder that, as a side note, switch to a blue pen here. Remember that molarity is set up as millimoles per milliliter. So if I want to calculate the molarity of HCl, then I need to divide my millimoles by the milliliters of solution. So the key thing in a titration is that I'm dividing by the total volume of solution. And that means that we have a total of our 25 milliliters from the acid plus the 10 milliliters from our base. And when we calculate that,
with some extra digits, we get a value of 0 0.04. 2857 molar. When we go to calculate pH then, that will be calculated as the negative log of that value. The calculator spits out a 1.36797. Again, same rule, we're looking at number of sig figs in our concentrations or volumes to determine the number of decimal places in our final answer. And so for this step in our titration, we have a pH of 1.37.